Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about the police. The police, aye. Now, before I start, can I just ask, uh, are there any fans of the police watching this? Yeah! <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way, I'm not talking about Sting's old band. No, no. I am, of course, talking about Her Majesty's finest. Bunch of wankers. Because guess what, guess what, I'm not a fan of the police, no, no, I'm not, I don't trust them at all. Who do you trust, who do you want to put your faith in? Although the police, the police are quite big fans of me, aye, they are, because every time I get in my car, they take my fucking picture. Than the paparazzi. You're the in the sky, you it's unreal, it's like flash, flash, flash every time I'm going down the street. Then a couple of days later, they send me the photographs and a letter asking for an autograph. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Oh, hi, oh, hi, hey, hey. They're huge fans of me, alright? Well, what do you know? I got an admirer! In fact, they don't so much ask for an autograph as blackmail me. Ooh, I'm sensing some hostility here. They say if I don't sign it and give them £30 to help support my own fan club, then they threaten to stalk me. <laughs> and if I still don't pay up, then they threaten to kidnap me and put me under lock and key for 24 hours a day until their fascination wears off. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Shall we begin? Which, they explain, could take years. You leave me here to pay and pay and I just don't like this kind of living. Hey, hey, I'm not saying I'm not touched, but if you ask me, that's taken fanaticism a bit too far. In fact, I think taking my picture without asking is the height of rudeness, but apparently that argument doesn't hold up in the courts. No, it doesn't, because I don't make the laws. No, they do. Bastards. So I've decided to fight a one-man revolution. I've stopped wearing a seatbelt. There's no feeling like it when you drive past a police van and you're no wearing a seatbelt. I get a wee lump in my trousers every time. Go on the revolution. I'm the man, I'm the man. <laughs> if you want to be a hero, well just follow me. <laughs> you see, I've got a polarity responder gene in me. <laughs> Whenever I'm told to do something, I just do the exact opposite. I'm a bit like a politician in that sense. <laughs> It's a bit of a problem that's been with me all my life, this, this kind of rebel gene. For instance, I can't wait until they change these drink driving laws. Because I can't get in a car without six Guinness and a couple of whiskies. And my driving is pretty hellish. I can sense one of these days that I'm going to have a crash. But it's okay, it's okay. I only drive at night time when there's no kids on the street. Only adults. And we all know they're expendable. We were butchered like lambs at the slaughter. 
So that's all right then, that's all right. And another thing I hate is that these new methods they've got for testing for drink driving. So what's the use of getting sober when you gotta get drunk again? Apparently, if you can walk in a straight line for 10 yards, that proves you're sober. God was from Or if you can touch your nose with your hand, that proves you're sober. I don't care what the people are thinking. I ain't drunk. Or if you can stand in one leg and sing the fucking birdie song. It's very scientific. It's very scientific. And I got pulled over by the police the other day. Try and stop me if you can. This policeman came up behind me. Oh, well, my hand is shaking and my knees are weak. He was like, stop, stop. For pigs on the way. Your driving's hellish. Right, get out of the car, get out of the car. Right, pal, I want you to touch your nose with your hand to prove to me that you've no been drink driving. I keep drinking, but I ain't thirsty. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not touching my nose with my hand for you to prove that I'm not being drink driving. What are you going to do for me to prove that you're a policeman? Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me. Hit me. And so you went, fuck all. Oh. <laughs> Fucking battered me with his truncheon. You hurt me and I don't want to cry. I was like, oh, okay, okay. You win, you win. <laughs> You've proved you're a fascist bastard. Beat on the brass with the baseball bat. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. Is a reason to cry? And talking of the police, do you know that every top policeman the leader of the gang. is actually a high ranking Freemason? In my secret. For instance, you know that chief inspector that comes on the TV every time there's a big murder inquiry? Do you know he had to shag six goats to get that job? I mean, that gives a whole new twist on police brutality. <laughs> Might have to be restrained. Maybe a better name for it would be police beastality. And obviously, everyone knows that Bill Clinton, George Bush, Obama, George Blair, Gordon Brown, Cameron, all the, all the rest of them, they're all 33 degree Freemasons. <laughs> If the lowly police officer is shagging goats, what the hell are these guys getting up to? Mind your own business, cause if you mind your business then you won't be minding mine. Hey, eh? Hey? That's right, hi. They're raping children. He is my lord, he is my saviour. He says, come here baby and kiss me like you mean it. Allegedly, anyway, allegedly, you know? At least according to some of the so-called conspiracy theorists out there. Basically, it would be interesting just to find out exactly what is happening to all these missing children every year. So that's my thoughts on the police.
I hope you maybe got a little chuckle. Or at least held your attention. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.